guys, welcome back to the So Cool Brothers Racing Podcast. I'm Colby Soaker Racing, or Little Smoke. And I'm Justice Soaker Racing, or The Law Man. It was the final round of the Junior Lake Model Esports Next Series, and this race was at Richmond Raceway. There at Richmond, I didn't have such a great heat. I got caught up in a wreck that was right in front of me, so I had to go down pits, use my quick repair, came back out about ninth place, worked my way up to seventh place, and finished there in my heat. In the feature, I also got caught up in another early on wreck in the feature, so I had to go down pits, use my quick repair, came back out about last place, I'd say, and I worked my way all the way up to, to a fourth place finish. All in all, it was a great final round of the Junior Lake Mountain Esports Next Series. I had a lot of fun. Thank you to Race Face, Racecraft One, Nitro Lubricants, and everybody else that helped put on that event. It was awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, you definitely you started off a little bit rough, but then you practiced and learned with the simulator and with the cars and you got a lot better it was just like every single race you were fast or e- and either you just had bad luck uh you made a mistake other cars made mistakes but i don't know it's just i racing is tough you can't go out there and be really consistent in every car every time you go on i racing because it's just not like that there's so many different drivers and so many different tracks and simulators and computers and all that stuff that it's just weird but you did good and i don't think I think we were talking about for the last race. Hopefully you can get your you. Hopefully you got your bad luck out in uh, round number four before we left for speed weeks. But it doesn't seem like that happened. But overall, justice, good job. And uh, like you said, thank thank you to everybody who put the series on. Yeah, well, thank you for all the help and support along the way with uh, cheering me on, giving me help and um, help with basically just learning how to drive those cars at the at the beginning. You're welcome, justice. Now we're going to talk about speed weeks. Speed Weeks overall was a really great week, and there, it couldn't have been there without Terry Maddox, uh, the whole Na- Lucas Oil Now 600 team, uh, Most Day Constructions, uh, High Plains Building Division, everybody who just put that on and just kept supporting Terry and Now 600 the whole time, and it was I, I had a really fun time there, Justice, did you? Yeah, I had an awesome time there being able to run against all those uh, really sharp drivers, stout drivers in the restricted class, and uh I know that you ran against against tons of really sharp drivers there in your w- stock non-wing and wing day class there. And it's, it was a lot of fun being able to go there to 600 speed weeks for our second time. Yeah, and we definitely, we definitely, I think, have improved since the last time we were there. Because last time we were there, I'm just going to say, I don't think we knew, I don't think we know crap when we went there. We're kind of like, okay, this is how you drive the car. And now we're like, okay, this, 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 this. And we're like... We're like, send a bus, we're just going out there and having fun. So I think we definitely learned a lot. And even just after this Speed Weeks, we learned a lot. But uh, night number one was at Candy Valley Speedway. Made both cars into the feature in the non-wing. I started sixth, finished third. In the wing, I think I started 10th, 8th, and finished 14th. But Justice, how'd you do? Uh, my first night, it was an awesome first night. I was high point earner in my heat race, so I went up to go do the invert draw. And I would have loved to draw a zero, but instead I drew the uh, really bad pill draw, the six, which is invert. Yeah, the six invert draw, which I did not want because that put me starting six in the field. But I worked my way up to third place, was running there for a little bit, and then got passed for third. So I ended up fourth place, but all in all, great night number one of racing at Caney Valley. Yeah, night number two was at Creek County Raceway. It was the first of two times there for Speed Weeks. I made both cars in the feature after winning both of my B mains and wing and non wing, and then the wing car I made I started about seventeenth eighteenth and non wing car started about seventeenth eighteenth and then I think I was in seventh place, and I was racing and uh, just was battling with the guy really hard, and then made a mistake they ended up costing me, me and him for the rest of the race and I tore up a front axle he tore up some stuff in his car and. Uh, I felt really bad. That was a really bonehead and stupid move by me to do that. So over the speed weeks, I went up to him and I was like, "Okay, dude, I'm sorry. That was stupid of me. I feel really bad." And Johnny B, he was he was the one that accidentally did it too. And he was like, he ended up turning into a learning thing. So I learned from him of what I did wrong and uh, what I could do better next time. But I still feel really bad. But so that after that happened, ended up not being able to run my wing card. But you had a pretty decent ninth there. Yeah, I had a pretty, I had a pretty good night there, night number two at Creek County Speedway. Um, I had a good heat race, which which put me up starting in a good position for the feature. I started, I think, like fourth place, 
and I ended up fourth place there. I just, I held my position. I wasn't trying to lose any positions. I was trying to gain positions and hopefully win the race, but there was a lot of good competition up towards the front there, like Avedigian and Benson and uh, some of those guys that have really that have a lot of experience and really know what they're doing. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And night number three was at Red Dirt Raceway. Uh, that night, I'm I thought it was just a kind of a tough night of racing for me. The track uh, was awesome just because it's got red dirt on it. That was my favorite part about it. But it got really slick and everybody was one lane on the bottom. And fortunately, I didn't make my cars into the feature and the non-wing started too far back to even make up any positions to transfer. And then in the wing car, I was in a transfer position and it got taken out. But no, I was pretty mad about that. I was like, what the heck, dude? Are you kidding me? But after that, I was able to watch all the features. I watched your feature, and especially that non-wing feature. Frank Flood and uh, Ryan Thames, they put on a heck of a show up there. Frank Flood was down there around the bottom. I don't. I have no clue how, but he was just like, I think it's time to move up. And he goes up there, and he was just ripping it. And when, I, when we talk about TUHB, that was like freaking TUHB up on the top, especially with how big that track was. And Thames, I think he was a little bit faster, and then he went a little bit over the cushion one and two with like two laps to go, and he wasn't able to close him back down in time, but... Uh, that was a really good weekend for those guys. And Justice, how'd you do? A really good week for those guys. Yeah, well, what I saw there in that race was I was sitting in staging because I was the race right after that one. And I was like, wait, is that a car on the top? I didn't think that these cars were able to run the top there. And then all you see is one car go, next car go, and then a whole line of cars go. And I'm pretty sure that those first two guys was Frank Flood and Ryan Tims battling it out good. And then... Uh, all of a sudden, I just see Frank Flood go by, and then a whole the rest of the field go by, because it seemed like them two were really good, is what it sounds like from you, my dad, my mom, Andrew, everybody. Sounds like they were really good on the top side there. But in the restricted car, it was a one-leg groove around the bottom, had a pretty good heat race. Uh, high point earner, he drew a six, so that put me starting up second. And I started second there, fell back to third place, was running in third there for a couple laps and then second place made a mistake so I took advantage of that moved myself up into a second place spot and had an awesome night number three of racing and I was ready for night number four at Port City and night number four at Port City Raceway and before the racing started uh, Big Hoss the man the myth the legend the awesome dude of uh, I guess I'm just gonna say announcing and everything and go to any announcing place you should hear him you're like yep that's Big Hoss up there and we went on his Haas talk show, and uh, Bob's turn five at Port City Raceway. We talked to him just about Speed Weeks, how's it going, and the preparation and everything just leading up to that. And that was really cool. And during, like, the intermission time periods where there was no cars in the racetrack and there was, like, a red flag or something, he aired it on Flow Racing on the live stream and through the speakers and everything, so it was really cool. But if you guys want to actually go watch it, make sure to go check out our Facebook pages because we shared it on there, and make sure to go check out Haas. Facebook page, H-O-S-S, all caps, and you can watch that there, and he even did it with a couple other drivers, too. Yeah, and if you guys were also watching on Flow Racing, you guys were able to be able to see us on there, plus one other driver, so yeah, that was a lot of fun being two able other drivers. to, or, yeah, two other drivers, that was really awesome being able to go up in the booth, or go in the booth there and have a little chit-chat with him. Yeah, so night number four at Port City Raceway in the non-wing car, had to go to B-Main for both of them. In the non-wing car and the B-Main, I went... I started, I think, sixth. I was in fourth place, and then in two corners, I went fourth to first. And what did you say I did? Well, I was watching there because I was sitting down on, uh, by, this, by the bleachers there, and I'm watching you. I'm like, come on, Colby, I know you can do it. And you're just up there ripping the top, sending it. And here, all of a sudden, I see you get a huge run coming off of four. And going in turn one, you're in, like, first place on the exit of the corner. I'm like, holy crap, did he just send it? And, well, that's what you were doing the whole time. They're just sending it around the top, not giving it up. And then once you pass them guys, they're like, oh, yeah, still got first place. And then the guy looks, oh, oh shoot, bud. And then he, and then you just go right by him, and you got the win of that B-Main, and all everybody else behind you just went up top and tried to do it. But you were the best, obviously. Thank you, Justice. And the feature, I think I started about 17th, 18th, somewhere around there, and finished 12th place. I mean, 11th place, but uh, overall, it was a really fun night of racing. The wing car didn't make the feature. I think we're still kind of getting our wing program put together. Our non-wing car 
uh, program. I th- I think it's pretty spot on and from a driver standpoint and uh, as a from like my dad and Andrew, they have been working on it and all of us have been working on it kind of where we're kind of comfortable, but the wing we're still kind of getting it there, but Justice, how'd you do? Well, in my restricted, um, I didn't have the greatest heat race. I went in, I was running, and I was on the bottom because the top really wasn't there yet. And I was on the bottom there, and I hit the infield tire, slid up the track, and then the car behind me came by, hit my right rear. They flipped, but thankfully they were okay. Uh, the only thing that wasn't okay was my right rear because my right rear had... I know, dude. Brand new right rear. and you... Jeez. Yeah, I had to... Uh, yeah, that right rear was gone. And then, so I had to run a B-Main. I started, like, 12th, I think, or something in my B feature. And I was, I was like, all right, it's time to break my fear of running the top because if I'm on the bottom, I'm not going to transfer out of this. So I just went up top, one, two, three, and four. I was just ripping, ripping it up there. And I gained all these positions, and I went up into third place. So I thought I did an awesome job there in that B feature. And then... I started last row inside in the feature, which I think was like 19th or something. It and might have been like 20th, whatever. whatever yeah, whatever. Far back that was. Yeah, however far back that was. I And then I moved up, and I was just running the top, and I gained all the way up into 12th place, I think, was I finished. So it was an awesome night number four racing. Colby, why don't you tell us how night number five ran down? Night number five of racing, and I think that was my best night of racing in the non-wing car. Uh had a pretty decent in the heat race actually uh one of the one of the bolts fell out of the front axle so couldn't steer it and i was like crap so we had to go to a v main uh, wait i didn't even know if they had a v main or not no they didn't no. have a v main so i started in the back of my feature like 18th 20th something uh went all the way up to and finished fifth place and that was the race that frank flood got his 100th win and i have his frank flood t-shirt on right now and i'm like that was cool because after the race, they, they posted before. They were like, Frank Flood, if he wins one more race, he has 100. Uh, now, Secunder National wins. So I was like, he's, he's going to get it. And I was it was pretty cool how I was in the race that he got it in. So congratulations to Frank Flood. And then in the wing car, I started 8th and finished 8th after a heat race win. But it was a good day of racing and good week of speed weeks. And just had to go. Well, my final night of speed weeks there, was uh, I thought I did a really awesome job there. And my heat, I had a pretty good heat. I I can't remember where I started or where I finished, but in the feature I started, I I started fourth, and I was up. I was just running there, and I ended up with a P3 finish. I got around four. I got around third place there, so I ended up third. I had an awesome five nights of racing there for Sooner Six Hundred Speed Weeks. But, uh, like we said earlier, thank you to Terry Maddox, Nas Six Hundred, all those guys that put on that were able to help put on that Series Six Hundred Speed Weeks. That was awesome. And we want to give a big thank you to all of our sponsors and supporters: uh, Moltool, Rainbow Sprinkler, uh, Z Max, uh, Stollard, EMI, Ingler, Yoshi, Yoshimura, Advance. All those people that were able and just supported us to be able to go out to Speed Weeks and during Speed Weeks. But justice. Where's our next race, Buzz? Well, our next race will be the uh, 7th Annual John Hink Memorial Championship. It is at Sweet Springs, Missouri. Um, their motorsports complex there in Sweet Springs. July 2nd through 4th. Yeah. And how much is it to win the feature? Well, it's $20,000 to win the feature, but it's $1,000 to even just start the feature. No matter where you finish, as long as you start it, 1000 moolah in that pocket. That's, that's pretty cool just going out there. It's an outlaw-based event, and last year we were watching it, and one of our good buddies, Frank Galusha, he was leading the race. He led from start to about three laps to go, and he ended up getting passed, and I'm sitting there I'm like, crap. And I was like, shoot. And Joby Miller, another awesome outlaw driver, just passed him and got the win. But uh, we're going to go down there, see how our eight classes do, going against uh, some really tough competition and some tough outlaw drivers. But I'm really excited for that. And uh, Justice, thank you very much for doing awesome on Speed Weeks. Well, yeah, also speaking about sponsors, Motul sent us this really sick beat care package that we have here. As you guys can see, we got this little uh, piggy bank thing, and then we got this awesome Lego die-cast car that me and Colby put together. They sent us a lot of merchandise, pop sockets, t-shirts, keychains, uh, key all chains, that stuff. a whole bunch of um, products for us to wear use and stuff like that so thank you Motul very much for the sick beat care package that you guys sent us 
Until next time, the lawman and Lil Smoke. Out. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.